Barbara Bijou and this is Transform Today TV. Today I want to talk about the power of color. Colors are electromagnetic waves that actually affect us symbolically, physically, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. And I'm going to start now with black. Black is your power color. You can never go wrong wearing black in this Western culture. It's authority. It's power. However, if you wear too much of it, it can be overwhelming. And think about some of our images of bad guys. They're always wearing black. We always use black in mourning also in this culture. Then the opposite is white. White is purity. White is cleanliness. Think of hospitals, doctors, nurses. They're wearing white. What do we wear for a wedding dress? White. A whiteboard helps us be more creative. So we can use this color to open, to expand. Then we come to brown. Brown is grounding. Brown is about stability. So if you're feeling like you're all over the place, brown can really ground you and bring you that clarity and stability that you might need. We move then up to red, which I love. Red is about passion. Red is about life force. In fact, my friend Dr. Diana, the love doctor, told me that women who wear red outfits in online dating profiles get more hits than anyone. Red is considered really exciting. It's used also in prosperity rituals around the world. However, when we really want to talk about love and romantic love, then we move more to pink. Pink is more soothing. Pink is really about the heart. And the interesting part is they've done research with prisoners, and prisoners who were in rooms that are painted pink are less aggressive. Something we should all think about. Then we move to yellow. Yellow is that really power color. It's the solar. It's the sun. It stimulates our mental abilities. It also helps the brain secrete more serotonin, which makes us feel good and helps us really get creative. Think of those yellow Lego pads that so many of us used for many, many years. Yellow is a great color to use when you want that energy. However, Little babies have been known to cry more if it's too bright because they need soothing colors, calming colors. Orange, okay, that's one of my favorites. You all know that. Orange is about creativity, it's about sexuality, and it's about being happy and just having fun. So if orange is something that you look good in, wear it, or else get a little piece of orange to carry with you. Then we come to the cooler colors, which are more soothing. Think about green. Nature. You can't be upset in nature. It's very soothing. It's very relaxing. It's the color of the heart. It's also a color of prosperity. Hospitals, though, use green to calm people down, to make them feel safer. It's a great color to use when you're feeling agitated, as is blue. However, the thing about blue is blue is a great communication color. Blue helps you focus. Think about all the newscasters that you watch. Watch how many of them now are wearing blue. They've also done research that not only are you more focused, but you can create more things if you were in a blue room. They did a research project with weightlifters and found that weightlifters actually could pick up heavier weights in a blue room. Then we move to violet and to purple. These are more spiritual colors. These are colors of opening up the mind, connecting spirit and earth. And the royalty for many, many years wore purple as a sign of royalty. On one other note, know that certain colors stimulate your appetite. Reds, even orange and yellow sometimes can stimulate your appetite, but colors like violet and black can suppress your appetite. So start playing with colors. Let me know how you do. Get swatches clothing, colors on your makeup, it doesn't matter, paint your walls, see the effect that color has on you and let me know how you're doing. Remember, this is your life. Enjoy your journey.